Hi guys, I'm back. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, file damage. Uh, you may wonder what is file damage. File damage is things within your Quicken that Quicken doesn't like. Usually it's transactions. Um, typically it uh, lends its hand mostly to your investments. Um, File damage can make your quick and do crazy things, you know, you can't add securities anymore or you can't download from the bank. Uh, just a lot of things that file damage will do to your file or your quick and software. So uh, today I just wanted to take a second and show you guys what you should be doing normally to protect your file. So the first thing you want to do before you do this is you're going to want to back up your file and by doing that you just go to file uh, backup and restore back up your quick and file and we'll just say okay backup now okay so great so now my file is backed up and quicken gave me the um, message saying that it was done successfully so now what I want to do is I want you to go file and then we're gonna go to file operations and then we're going to go to validate and repair. Um, I'm going to put it in a check in validate file as well as rebuild investing lots and delete investing price history. For you guys who have stocks and, and different transactions in your investments, don't worry. It's not going to um, lose your data or anything like that because we made the backup. If anything goes wrong, you can just go back to that backup. And the reason why we validate is because we want to see what Quicken finds wrong with the file. Uh, Quicken can have a lot of different errors. It could be anything that it doesn't agree with. Uh, you see here, um, I have no QDF errors, no QEL errors, all internal consistency, consistency uh, checks passed. Um, but there was a transfer that it didn't like, which was a $500 withdrawal, which is fine. Okay, so if you were to have damage in the file, your log wouldn't have come up that way. It would come up uh, quick and found the following errors, so forth and so on. If you validate your file and it comes up with all these errors, you can go through and you can fix the errors one by one, or you can do something called super validate your file and in order to do that what you do is you hold down the control and you hold down the shift key and then you go file file operations validate and repair where it once said validate it now says super validate so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna put checks in the first three and then I'm gonna say okay and we're going to super validate the file. If you super validate your file and it still comes up and Quicken still acts as though it's crazy and that it doesn't want to do a lot of things, you have file damage. The only thing that Quicken has to fix issues within your file is the validate and super validate. If that doesn't work, the only other option you have is to save your file and use it just to view the transactions in it and create a new file. Even if you call Quicken support, there is nothing that they can do. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on with that. Um, if there's anything you would like to know how to do in Quicken or any problems that you have with Quicken, uh, just give me an email at fixyourquicken.com or just leave a comment and I'll try to get to you as soon as I can.